Have you ever wondered how we can fit so much DNA into a tiny little microscopic nucleus of a cell? Well, it all starts with DNA condensation. And the process begins with histones, which we will represent with these beads. Histones are just a complex of proteins that the DNA, which we are representing with this wire, wraps around so that it is in the most decondensed form of DNA, which we call euchromatin. So I'm going to just show you how the histone will come along the DNA, and we're going to have the DNA wrap around the histone. It wraps around like three times. And then to ensure that the histone doesn't slide off, the H1 clamp comes along, which we're representing with this tiny little jewelry clamp. And oh, we'll clamp it off like so. This way, the histone won't slide off like a bead on a string. Now, this occurs along the entire length of the DNA, so it'll look more like this. We lots of times call this process beads on a string because it looks like beads on a string. I'll string another histone onto this strand. I'm just going to twist it instead of using the histone or the H1 clamp just for speed and ease here. So once we have a bunch of beads on the string, this is called the nucleosome. And then this later condenses by just kind of winding up and we'll have a lot more than this obviously on a normal DNA strand, but it winds up into the 30 nanometer fiber because the fiber is just 30 nanometers wide. And that fiber then will attach to this thing called a scaffold and it kind of loops along the scaffold um, to be more condensed. And then that scaffold will then coil even more into a 300 nanometer fiber, which then coils even more into your 700 nanometer chromosome. And this is called heterochromatin because it's the most condensed form of DNA. In this form, the DNA cannot be replicated or transcribed. This is merely for the sake of copying DNA and like meiosis and mitosis. So now you know how DNA is condensed into chromosomes to fit into the tiny little nucleus. That's all, folks.